question number six from June 2008. Actually, actually it's January 2008. Okay, this is now January 2008. The uh, um, the old papers, the um, GCE papers, not the IL papers. The weights of bags of popcorn are normally distributed with a mean of 200 grams and 60% of all bags weighing between 190 and 210 grams. Okay, so the weight is normally distributed with a mean of 200. Okay, and standard deviation they didn't tell us, so that's the variance, standard deviation squared. It says write down the median weight. Okay, the mean mode and median are always going to be the same when it's normally distributed. It's symmetrical. It's exactly symmetrical about that point here, which is both, which is all the mean, the mode, and the median are all the same in normal distribution. One mark, simple question. Find the standard deviation of the weights of the bags of popcorn. So let's use this data here. We've got. It says 60% of all of the data of all of the bags weigh between 190 and 210. If that's 190, that's 200, and that's 10. Okay, that's like symmetrical, isn't it? That's that's 10 away, that's 10 away. Okay, that's 10 below the mean, that's 10 above the mean. And altogether, that area represents 60% of all the area. Okay, so that means this area is 30% and that area is 30%. So if I think about um, the probability that Z is The probability that um, the weight is less than 210, that's going to equal, that's going to be 30%, and that's going to be, the whole thing's going to be 50%, okay, because that's 30%, and that, everything up to the left of the middle is 50%, so it's basically it's going to be 80%, which is 0 0.8. So I know the probability that the weight is less than 210 is equal to 0 0.8, okay, so I can work out what value of z it's going to be. Um, so let's we we know that um, that z is equal to w minus the mean. Okay, so it's going to be over let's say x minus the mean over the standard deviation, right? So the x that we have here is actually our w. So wait. Okay, that's a standard standardized equation. So we can say the probability, and you've got here um, x, which is 210, minus the mean, which is 200, over the standard deviation. Okay, so that's a, the that's a probability that z is less than that, is equal to 0 0.8. Okay, so now we just standardize that, you see. So basically, what we can say is here, yeah, so basically we can say that, let me just write it in another way. We can, s we can, f we can actually find out what this value of z is for this point here. It's where 80% of the data is to the left of that. So what we can do is we can go uh, to the tables. Now, because we know it's 80% of the data to the left of that, that means 20% of the data is to the right of that. Okay, 20% of the data is to the right of that, that value. Okay, so if you go to our tables, the reason why I'm saying that is because you go to your tables, okay, what we have here in the tables, if you go down to the second table, this tells us the percentage and this tells us the value of Z. Okay, so this tells us the the area to the right of the value of z. Okay, so for example here, we're trying to find uh, where 20% is to the right. We're trying to find this point where 80% uh, is to the left of this value, which means 20% is to the right of that value. Now 20% is 0 0.2, which is here. So this value of z is going to be 0 0.8416. That's where 20. That's what means 20% of the data is to the right of that value. Okay, that's what we're trying to find. Okay, so 0 0.8416. Okay, this the z value that represents this is 0 0.8416. So what we can say is that um, 
that's that's the z value okay so we can say that um two uh, our weight 210 minus the mean which is 200 over the standard deviation which we don't know which we're trying to find is going to give you 0 0.8416 okay that's that value the standardized value okay so now we can find what mu is we can just that's 200 minus um, 210 minus 200 is 10 so it's 10 divided by 0 0.8416 and that will be our standard deviation. So you have 10 divided by 0 0.8416, which gives you 11.88. So the standard deviation is 11.9, basically, 3SF. OK, so that's the standard deviation of the weights of the bags of popcorn. So what we did is, we use the fact that there's 60 percent of the data between 190 and 210 that means there's 30 percent of the data above 200 between 200 and 210 which means there's basically 80 percent of the data which is less than 210 and 20 percent which is above 210 now as we got a, an, a, um, as we got a percentage which is an exact value 20 percent we use the table okay we use the table given underneath where we have percentages with exact values this is the percentage of the area to the right of the value of z. Okay, so because we got that exact value here, all right, so that's where 20% of the data is to the right of the value of z. That's that value of z for which that is true is 0.8416. Okay, so we know that the value of z that corresponds to this 210 is 0 0.8416 in the standardized version. So when we standardize this, you've got 210 minus 200 over the standard deviation. That's the value that we have minus the mean over the standard deviation, that's the z value, which is 0 0.8416, so we can now find what our uh, standard deviation is. Okay, that's supposed to be a sigma. Okay, so there's that question, and I'm going to do part B, in part C in the next video. Okay.